Hi, I'm Annie. Today I want to talk about habits and relationship to self. If you'd like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one chat with me to clarify your goals and come up with some strategies to achieve them, you can find my contact information in the description. So for me, habits are really tied to my relationship with myself. Maybe that's a really DI perspective. I feel like it's critical to follow through on the goals that I set for myself because when I do that, my relationship with myself improves and I know that I can trust myself to follow through on all kinds of things. I know I can trust myself to show up for myself, to do good things, to attempt big goals, to keep my word to myself. If I were to abandon my own goals over and over again and that became a habit, if I had a habit of flaking on my own goals, it would erode my trust in myself and then flaking on goals becomes the new habit. Like if I let myself get out of doing what I say I'm gonna do one too many times, it just becomes easier and easier to not follow through. So I'm very careful about the goals that I set and really consider carefully whether or not I have the energy and time to actually show up and follow through. And it's really tied to my identity. If I set goals and I don't show up to follow through, it kind of harms my self-perception. I don't feel good about myself when I don't do what I say I'm gonna do. But when I show up and I crush the goal, that makes me feel really fucking good. When I accomplish one goal, it makes me more likely and more, more enthusiastic about setting another maybe little bigger goal. But if you've ever set a goal and not followed through, I think probably we all have. I certainly used to have a pattern of not following through. So if you've ever done that, or if you've ever even like had a larger pattern of not accomplishing your goals, that's okay. Because I think a lot of us have been there. And you can start right now setting goals that you actually follow through on. And that's how you build up this muscle of follow through and crushing one goal after another. It just kind of builds on itself. You might start with something really small, like set the bar really low. You set a small goal that you're certain you can accomplish, and then you accomplish it. And then that builds your trust with yourself. It builds your enthusiasm for the process. It builds confidence. And then you set a slightly higher goal. And that's how you become a person who sets goals and achieves them. It's just like a muscle that you have to build over time. And it's really like an identity identity update. If you flaked on your goals over and over again, then you have this identity, this belief about yourself. I am a person that doesn't follow through. Whereas if you do follow through, then that becomes your new updated identity. I am a person who follows through. And I feel like self-perception and core identity updates are really important for achieving goals. So when you're goal setting, think about what it really means to your own integrity and your own identity. And if you happen to set a goal and and have some days where you're flaky or you get out of the habit and maybe you skip a few days, you don't follow through, it's not the end of the world. Don't beat yourself up. You can just start again. And if you start and stop a few times and you're just like aware of that pattern, then it's likely you'll get sick of that and you'll just finally decide to follow through and get the job done. 